<laughs> All right, guys, I'm wearing a pair of sunglasses at the start of the video. You know what's about to happen. We have actually officially put in the Revo collection to the store. So guess who's getting my attention on reviews for a little while? Hmm. I don't hate it. In fact, I don't love it. And we are going to talk about that because, yeah, somebody needs to get in here and be different. And we all know it's going to be me. Let's take a look at the Revo model. <laughs> uh, this one. <laughs> Send help. You're in for a ride today. Now that we've got that mental break out of the way, this is the Quinn. I was about to call it the Quincy, but I knew that didn't sound right. We're not going through bleach. This is not Quincy. It is Quinn. This is model Quinn. And yes, it is a little bit more feminine. Definitely unisex in my opinion, because we do flatten back out over here. Very wearable frame. We do have nice pad arms back here. Very adjustable. Is that little kink in it metal insert in the bridge, or metal bridge insert in the acetate fronts. Hmm. I'm gonna get myself in trouble today with this one, but what we've got here, this is part of the 1985 collection, which means we have glass lenses. I am not going to scratch them by doing that to them or taking my keys to them, as you've seen me do in other videos. Not today, I'm sorry. Now, one thing I do wanna mention right at the start of this, these have a very beautiful blue mirror. I will get a photo and throw that in here. It's the blue background, of course. It does not show up with this much lighting coming at the front and not reflecting. I don't know what's going on here, but you can't see the blue mirror there. I can see it here and it's gorgeous. It's this shade of blue on front of the lens with a clear frame. Absolutely stunning detail choice, but this is the Revo H2O glass in the clear Quinn, but I have two of them here. That's how good of a shape I think it is. So we've got kind of the traditional, the Tokyo Tortoise here with the gray green lenses, more of the G15 you would see in the Ray-Bans or whatever, they call it gray glass, super crisp, super scratch resistant. This one's gonna be a little bit more scratch resistant, not having that mirror, but Revo does something a little bit different with their mirrors in that it is not as scratchable as a lot of what's out there. If I remember right, and don't quote me on this because I don't have it in front of me and I don't remember and it's still a new collection, and that's where we are at today, that the mirror is actually encapsulated in the layer with the polarized laminate inside the glass. Yeah, I'm going with that. Based on where the Revo logo is etched in the front, I can see the mirror behind that rather than the mirror itself etched. Yeah, that's getting a little, a little something. It's a little something. So overall feel of these is pretty good. Glass lenses, typically you're gonna be a little more front heavy. Overall, I still think it balances really nicely, but it is a super cool frame overall. Nice and lightweight. For glass lenses, very lightweight. But the, de the details and the, the details, God, send me away, are very good in this frame. You've got typical clear on the back, which we know long term is a little bit of a problem. You'll get some discoloration inside of here. No big deal. Swap these out, keep going, or get a new pair if you're one of those. <laughs> It happens, don't look at me like that. Don't click away already. But as far as the overall details, you do have some nice milling. And I do like this has kind of more of a satin sheen on the temples, which we don't always see. And you get a little bit more detail work here as you get around to the front. We'll get some better footage of that because this is just terrible. And on that front milled piece as well. We've got some nice coining, some nice detailing across the bridge. Kind of reminds me of the coining details we see in the Seville Row. Obviously, this is not 18 karat gold. At this price point, I wouldn't expect such. But a pretty classic stainless steel and nice finish overall. I think for the price point, these are pretty nice. They're gonna compare a little more directly with the Varnays, which is maybe what I was looking for. 
Maybe I wasn't. I don't know. We'll see how things go there. That's another story. But Clear Vision has taken over the Revo collection. They're doing it really good justice, in my opinion, as they're kind of returning to their roots in a way that we don't normally see with sunglasses. And that is they're not just splashing out all the things they made in the 80s and saying, that's good. Let's live off the legacy and that's all we're going to do. Not pointing fingers at another name I have already said today, but they're fixing that too. On, on the Quinn, as I mentioned, glass lenses in these, always a great detail. I'm a sucker for a good glass lens. I hope I did not just you. And I think their choice in the Tokyo Tortoise, now not my personal favorite because it has a lot more of the yellow in it. I'm just not a huge fan of that in this tone of yellow with the antique gold. It's a little much for me, even though I like more exotic things, as we all know, I don't particularly like that in a sunglass. I like more exotic sunglasses, absolutely, but do I like a dark black lens with very yellow heavy front? No, no, I don't. And the reason for that, I think there should be more of this black modeling. I don't so much hate this color of yellow. It's not bad. I just think there should be more black modeling in it. This looks cooler to me. Now this is really good. I actually have a new assistant that helps out. And this looked really good on her. She would not come down here and do the video. So you guys, we gonna have to fix that. I don't know how to fix that. You can figure it out. I can't. But it looks really good on someone a little bit longer, darker hair. Me, it looks, yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> We're done with that one. We're done with the tortoise one. I have said all I have to say about the tortoise and antique gold. This is the super nice one in my book. And you guys know I am not a huge fan of a clear rim on sunglasses. Just because it does pick up a little bit more reflection, there is more to manage there, but it's still okay. I have a pair of clear sunglasses myself. It's not unmanageable, it's just different. Now, overall, as far as sizing is concerned, this one is a 5121, so it's gonna fit medium to large, definitely not on the oversized end of things. You do have these little bit wider horns here, which gives you a pretty good amount of room for overall fit. As far as weight, I did not think to throw these on the scale. I know the mirror one is gonna be slightly heavier because as we mentioned, you've got that extra layer there. It's gonna be minuscule. I don't even think it'll show up on the scale unless we go into grams, which we're not gonna do. But I am gonna say these are probably a solid three ounce frame. Definitely nothing too, too crazy. I don't know, three ounces, that's, that's way heavy. Grams, yeah, we're probably talking Washington runs around 50. This feels a little lighter than that. I'm going to say 36, 38 grams in that ballpark. <laughs> I said I wasn't getting into grams and then I did deal with it. Overall polish on these is about what you'd expect at this price point. It's not like something I've gone back and hand finished to really bring it up a notch. You know, it's not 100% perfect. I can see some little spotting in the material. Very, very minimal. Overall, especially for a pair of sunglasses you're gonna wear and use, it is a really good finish and a really good piece. The polish, as I mentioned, it's not perfect, but it's really good. You're only even gonna see that in the clear frame. On this one, I can't sit here and tell you that because I can't see the little pin marks in it unless I really get the right angle on the lighting and you don't even know what I'm talking about because you can't see it, so there you go. Looks good. So, there you go. There is one other color in these. I didn't have it. I did lean for the Tokyo Tortoise. I think the Tokyo Tortoise I saw was more black. I am more about companies that pay attention to every single frame that runs through. This is more of a mass produced thing. I cannot fault them there. But as I mentioned with the lenses, the glass lenses, the H2O glass in particular is absolutely spectacular optical. If you don't care about anything but how it looks out, Get the H2O glass. I don't care what color it's in or what frame it's in. Get an H2O glass pair. Beautiful. It's a very soft green, but then because of the blue mirror, it warms it just a hair. Super comfortable to wear, super crisp view out. That you need one of these. Absolutely, an H2O glass pair. Yeah, that's, that's 
I'm done. That's the end of the video. Buy an H2O glass pair. If you love me, you'll buy it from me. If you don't, you'll buy it from Clear Vision directly and get it straight from Revo and I'll cry myself to sleep knowing you watched this review and then bought it somewhere else. <laughs> I told you you were in for a ride when you started this video. It's a day. <sighs> That's all I've got. Let me know what you guys think of these new Revos. If you've worn the H2O glass, let me know your thoughts on that because I'm a fan. I don't have my prescription in these. They don't make the H2O glass in prescription yet. I've asked. We'll see. I am told it's in the works, okay? So it will happen. It's just a matter of how and when. I don't suspect soon, based on the market for glass lenses at this point in time, it ain't happening, but maybe next year. That's all I've got on this one for now. Let me know your thoughts, and I will catch you guys next time.